Awesome. We are out of Spooky Swamp. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, a most epic game. Last time, we basically did a glitch accidentally that stole a gem from us. But we went, we found it, we got it back. Everything's fine and dandy. Now we can finish getting all of the gems in the home world. It took me 40 minutes to edit, or to edit, to record that last one. Just because of the spooky swamp, like, oh my gosh. Okay. But, now we are here, we are ready to rumble. Awesome. Ooh, Bamboo Terrace, that's another really fun level. That's a fun one. Okay. Um, break all the things. All of the things. I don't think you swim in this water. No, you do not. Yay! Okay. Egg. Modesty. Perfect. Ha! That's wonderful. Oops, sparks. Oops. Okay, what was that? Spiral in whoop! He like Uno reversed his own movements. Alright, let's see. Gotta grab a couple more gems here. A couple more gems there. Alright, now we do have a few more things to do with this fire power up. What's up? Hey. This is a super flame power up. I know. Yeah, I, I know how this works. What we do is we blow up all of these bad boys. Lovely, lovely. Bam, look at that. Four. Give me Matt. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. Also, the Super Flame Power Up is useful for another reason. Mainly, getting gems. Because if you remember, this bad boy over here needed some blow it up. Perfect. Wait, we're missing more? What am I missing? I'm missing stuff? Oh, I see them. Perfect. That's all the gems. I believe we have all the eggs. Yes. All right. Perfect. That's what we like seeing. Okay. Now it's time to go to Sergeant Bird's base. I don't know. Just a quick little touch up on the home world. I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceries. We're gonna take on the sorceress with hummingbirds? Heck yeah, let's train them up. Alright. Oh, Sergeant Bird's level. I love Sergeant Bird. Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday at 1845 hours, the Rhinox invaded. We defended as best we could, sir. But without your leadership, we couldn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured, and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. Okay, these Rhinox are impressive. 15 minutes, and they have control of the base. I'll do it in five. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of kidding. I don't know if I can do it in five. I mean, unless I just keep this up, like... Okay, the best part about this guy? Oh, you're welcome, Private Creole. I am an agent for the Queen. He can fly indefinitely. Oop. And he has freaking like heat seeking missiles. So if I shoot this, it's gonna hit like everything. Oh, perfect. Look, get that guy. Get him. Bam. Haha, -ha. they're just gardeners. They're really just gardener rhinox. I'll be back in here. 
There's several things that I need to do here. Sir, I've captured the enemy rations. They won't march far on empty stomachs. Oh, thank you, Corporal Gabriel. What's up, man? Nice hat. Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door. And okay. I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. I recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches on either side of the door. Heard that. When in position, press the charge button to drop the weight. Press the action button once to look down, and press it again to look up, sir. Oh, heck yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. The ladybug, just get the ladybug. Yeah, welcome to freedom. Welcome back to freedom, I should say. All right, and oh, okay, okay, we're being real picky now. Oh gosh, his movement. Ah, oh, lovely day. He moves pretty dang quickly in the air. So, like, I have no complaints. Yeah, take that. Take that. Take that. Yeah! I love watching my shots, like, curve down to hit the enemies. Curve the bullet. That's what we like seeing. I know, his controls are so jumpy and... It is kind of weird, not gonna lie. Like, feeling how bouncy he is. But, at the same time, he's pretty dang fun. What's up, dog? Keep fighting the good fight, sir. We're oh, thank you. And I'm, uh, right behind you. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. Oh, it's thank you. Great to have your back, sir. Yeah, that's literally the level. That's literally the level. And I love it. What was the name? Gap Trail? No, that was the hummingbird. Take that. You're letting the base fall. Yeah, perfect. Alright, can I hit that? Then I'll hit the gopher. Wait, aren't I supposed to hit the gophers with this stuff? Yeah, there we go. This is another level that is pretty easy to just kind of... To just like miss some gems. Get blasted. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to kill all the golfers, but I'm supposed to use these to do that. The the bombs that I have. Oh heck yeah, shoot them all. I'm gonna blast them. Yes, there we go. Bobby. Blast it. There we go, perfect. Alright, three out of five? Three out of five, perfect. Oh gosh, there was a dude right there. Let's nuke him. <laughs> Alright. 
I still got one more in my hands, or feet. Alright, come here. There we go. Blasting, perfect. What else have we got down here? Got him. Alright, up we get. We'll come back down to this bottom level. Still one more missing. What are your orders, oh. sir? Um, find my other hummingbird. But let me let me know where she is. Awesome, perfect. There we go. Man, flying indefinitely is so nice. Man, I feel so cool with these rockets. And with the missiles as well. Oh. Top notch. Whatever idea it was to give a bird some missiles it was a genius. Genius game design right here. So we got that cave right here. We got this rim right here. Okay. I'm pretty sure the last bird is in here. But I also say that with a question mark because I'm not 100%. Oh wow, I missed a bird. Okay, um... No, don't talk to me, please. I need to find the other bird. Lovely day, lovely day. Oh, there we are. It's also a pretty cool detail to note when he shoots his missiles, it changes which side the missile is shooting from. There we are. I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. Why, thank you. Roy! Roy Mustang. Okay, there we go. That is all the debriefed, sir. Be debriefed. Do it. Figure out what debriefing is. And do it. How many am I missing? 40 whole ju- Bye. Up we go. Okay, so that was several, but I'm still missing 17 gems. Now, room two. There's nothing, whoa. I'm gonna be on the lookout for some balloons. Alright, looks like we're five gems short. We'll fly all the way up and look for balloons. There we are. Is it a fiver? It is a fiver. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Leave this level. No more being a Sergeant Birds. <laughs> the 
Not a bad monster. Oh shoot. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. That's it. Dang. Oh, sheesh. It's a good thing for you, Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. <laughs> Would you like me to show you? Uh... Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? <laughs> I'll deal with you later. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? That's okay. I'm not going to go into too much detail on why that is incredibly funny what Spyro said, but that was incredibly funny what Spyro said. Alright. Oh, they're making something over there. Alright, so Sunrise Spring. No need to go to Buzz's dungeon. We already fought and destroyed him. What we need to do is we need to head over to Idle Springs, or... Molten Crater. Idle Springs is in Spyro 2. Why did I say Idle Springs? I don't know. Probably because it's just a bunch of tiki's again. Alright, now this should have a shortcut right up to the end. Awesome, it's opened up. Alright, now... We just need to come right on over here. Into Sergeant Bird's area. Step inside, old chum. Sergeant James Bird. Lovely. Hey, Tiki Man. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together and I'll make you an honorary member. Oh, that'll be real nice. Alright, so yeah, you gotta grab their heads. And you just chuck them on his friends. What a good fun game this is. <laughs> Alright, hit you, hit you. Ow! Some of them are booby trapped, so it's like, did he really expect his friend to get them, or were they just planning on me? Perfect. Got your head where it belongs. There's another body over here. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Okay, so this level actually was in the demo bit you could play on uh, Crash Bash, a game that I played on the PS1. Luna! So I'm actually fairly familiar with this Sergeant Bird area. Just this little mini game area with the hide and seek. This, this was in there, but it was none of the rest of Molten Crater. So imagine my surprise when I first found out that this area was part of a whole other level. Those birds are real close to each other. I should blow them up. <laughs> Alright, here goes. Down, down we go, and it never snows. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why are the birds so close to each other? They should not be that close to each other. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely walloped in here. Oh, that was so close. Okay, so these carry momentum. There you go. Chuck it on the head. On the body. My bad. Perfect, lovely day. Hmm. 
Oh, that was close. Can I even follow the lava while carrying this? Yes, I can. Oh, there's still one more guy missing his head. Oh, dear. All right. Perfect. Lovely. Awesome. We have all the gems. That's what we like seeing. And now... We are going to have... All... Of the eggs. I'm gonna just drop it right there. There we go. I think this egg is a sign of your honorary membership to the lodge. Oh, thank you! Ryan! Perfect. And that should be all the eggs? I hope it's not a bad omen. Yeah, that would that would be real bad. Grab that sparks. Let's let's leave this place. No more molten crater for us. Let's let's ditch them. All right, here we are, midday gardens. Oh, and we got some artwork from the different worlds that I can visit. Let's show these around real quick. Okay, so we've already been to Spooky Swamp. Fun place. This is gonna be Bamboo Terrace, where they got the pandas. Um, oh goodness, no. Stay here, please. Apparently it just chucks you in there automatically. This is gonna be at Enchanted Towers. And this one is going to be at Icy Peak. And then we've already met Sergeant Bird. Sergeant Bird's a real cool guy. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If in fact you did, be sure to hit the like button, comment your favorite part or the funniest part, and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified as soon as another Spyro video comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.